So I've always heard this thought process and this saying. You can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. False. Never believed in it. As a leader, it's your job not only to lead the horse to the water, but you have to inspire that horse to drink that water. You have to motivate that horse to drink that water. That's your job as a leader. It's not only getting them to the water and showing them the water, showing them where it's at. They need to know how important water is. They need to know the consequences for not drinking that water. They need to know how important drinking water is to you and how you refuse to let them fail from not understanding the importance of drinking that water. That's what you have to focus on as a leader. That's in, that's, it's the number one thing. It's not just getting them there. In football, as a coach, we talk about the X's and O's. Calling the plays, having a perfect scheme, having a perfect play. That doesn't matter if you don't have players, if you don't have athletes that will die for you. They're, they're motivated enough and inspired enough to go out and execute those plays. It's twofold. You can't just call the play. You can't just lead the horse to the water. You have to motivate. You have to inspire. To, as a safety professional, as a leader, you are under a microscope. You're under a microscope at all times. People are looking at you. And, there's, and there is power and perception. Use that to your advantage. Use that to your advantage. For me... I carry around a gallon of water. When I'm going through the break room and shift change, I'm filling up my gallon of water every day. As I'm going through, I'm saying hey to people, I'm saying hey with the gallon of water. I'm making a, I make a fruit and vegetable smoothie at, uh, at shift change and at lunchtime and at 4 p.m. at shift change. I want to be visible at these time periods and I'm walking the talk and I'm living a healthy lifestyle. I'm making a healthy breakfast and a healthy lunch. And I know people are looking at me and these behaviors and these habits. But you're able to influence because the microscope is on you. So always do the right thing, but be conscious about doing about specific behavior that you want to replicate. I want people drinking a lot of water. I want my people hydrating. I want my people eating fruit and vegetable smoothies instead of Red Bulls. I work out so hard because I want my people stretching when they wake up and exercising on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, it's deeper than just preventing my people from my flock from being hurt while they're at work. I don't want my people to retire and they have a heart attack after working 65, 70 years from bad life choices, from putting the wrong things in their body. That's what I believe in and I live that and people can see it. Be conscious of the brand that you're creating because as a leader, you are under a microscope. Use it to your advantage. Thank me later and share this with somebody that needs it.